Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking about you and your business. Brian Spitz, he's been with us for a long time, great contributor, does a fantastic job of talking uh, to people about how to, to grow and uh, build their personal wealth through uh, real estate investment and uh, love the stuff that you do, uh, bigstatehomebuyers.com. Uh, That's right. And uh, people uh, should check that out. I, I personally literally check it out every week, and I'm talking to people about deals that you got going. And uh, I, d- I just think it's awesome what you do, and, and it makes so much st- sense. And when you go there, by the way, one of my favorite places to always click is that investor's navigation box, and, and uh, I, I play around there, too. So uh, Right. You can get from there to our investment website, bigstatehousedeals.com. So yep. they kind of interlink there. Awesome. So um, tell, kind of give us an update. You know, you, you're, you, of course, are doing an official Price of Business podcast over at uh, priceofbusiness.com. We love those. Uh, but tell us what else you got going on. Well, it's been, it was a really good year last year. It's a great uh, time to invest. Big State Home Buyers, as you know, is a company that helps sellers close their properties in a seamless manner. We buy them. We do any title work necessary. Uh, we do all of the closing documents with the title company. It's a fast cash as is transaction. And then we also work with investors to place rental property and flip properties in their portfolios. So it's a seamless transaction for the buyers as well. We deal with the property, we deal with any problem tenants, we get the title cleared, we can help them with loans, which is uh, related to my guest today, and we just have a lot of resources for people who want to get in the investment business. Yeah, and your guest today is a gentleman I've known for a long time who I really respect. Uh, him and and uh, and his brother, Quincy, are, are phenomenal leaders in helping entrepreneurs achieve their goals. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm in shock that people have... Uh, inflexible IRAs in the 21st century when people can really actually control their money and their financial futures. And you guys have been doing this for so long. Nathan, Nathan Long with Quest IRA. So good to see you, man. Hey, how are you doing, Kevin? Nice to see you again, too. Good. Kind of tell us the, the, the Quest story. And really, your story even precedes Quest. You guys got involved in Quest long after you guys were involved in the IRA business. Talk about that. Yeah, well, uh, uh, at Quest IRA, we'll we're hold unusual things inside of our retirement accounts. So uh, a lot of people have 401ks or retirement money, and they think that they're stuck to the stock market, and they don't realize that they can buy real estate or real estate notes are very common or LLCs or those type of things. Me and my brother personally have been doing it for a long time um, because we wanted to do, we're real estate investors ourselves, and we just kind of fell in to actually sell starting our own self-directed IRA company. That was a long time ago, uh, almost 12 years ago. But now we hold almost a billion dollars in assets, and a lot of people use our company to do those things that you can't do at a traditional custodian. Right. And, when, and just for clarification's sake, IRAs, uh, as we know, it, are meant to be a way of being a tax-preferred way to uh, have your retirement money accumulate. The thing is, is that the vast majority of IRAs allow you to invest in stock, and that's pretty much it. Self-directed IRAs let you invest in almost anything. That's correct. As long anything that you're knowledgeable about, it's not like you come to us and we tell you what to buy. You have to know. You you have to go to other types of sources. That's why uh, a lot of our clients like to loan money against real estate deals to real estate investors in the area. That works really well. Brian, yeah, we, I, I've talked so much. I want you to ask a bunch of questions. No, because I'm just this is a hot hot topic to me. I love this stuff. It's a it's a brilliant thing, and I don't think very many people know it. Certainly not novice investors. But we borrow money. You know, when we buy, fix, flip properties, I borrow other people's money. And nine times out of ten, the client that I'm borrowing from is a client of Quest IRA. So you know what it is is it allows them to lend us the money, and the profits, if I understand correctly, go back into the IRA, and the profits are tax sheltered and uh, That's grows correct. with their yeah, just retirement. Like Instead of buying like a stock, they buy a note. And it's, it, notes work real well because they're very passive and they create uh, income, uh, whether they're short term or long term notes. You tend to be able to feel very secure because there's an asset that's securing it. Um, and so that works really well. And a lot of people uh, like to do that. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It just makes so much sense, yet so many people still don't do it. Uh, and it just shows you how dominated um, the retirement industry is by the big money um, 
firms that just promote products, in my uh, my opinion, mainly investment type products. And so, uh, what what's the case with that? What what can be done to help educate more people on this? Because I, I I talk about this fairly often, actually, on my program that people need to come and see people like uh, like you. Well, I think I think it's important to understand that just understand people's roles. When you're talking to a big company like Fidelity, Charles Schwab, these are not bad people, but they're financial advisors that are selling you uh, an investment, and that's how they get paid. Um, because we're a completely neutral party, you find the investment that you want to go into, you tend to do better because you're investing in things that you know best. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about your typical client, who, and I'm sure there's a huge variety, but what is your at most common or your typical client? Uh, um, typical client tends to be above 40, uh, has worked a little bit, maybe had a job where they had a 401k or uh, some type of thing. They're, they have a career change where they're in a different field and this money has become an IRA and it's available to them. And they're looking, they're, they're a lot often disfranchised by the investments that are available. So they're out looking for something else to do. And they do things like purchase direct real estate in their IRAs loan money, buy into private placements that might buy small businesses or apartment complexes or something like that. Most of my clients' uh, investments are based on real estate in some time. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I mentioned again, BigStateHomeBuyers.com and uh, then QuestIRA.com for our guest today. Go ahead, Brian. Well, and I'd mentioned, too, to visit Quest IRA. I think that it's one of the most informative websites. There's a ton of information that answers questions uh, very precisely. So it's a great resource to go to Quest IRA. Um, Tell me how your company would prep brand new customers. Someone comes to you, they're unfamiliar with this option. What do you guys do? How do you start? Well, I think that education is the key. At Quest, we have a lot of education, both available online and in live in different cities. Uh, Our main office is here in Houston, but we also have offices in Austin, Dallas, and other parts of the country. And you can go to uh, classes and actually learn uh, what to do and talk to other investors that are doing it and network. And I think that that's really key, important part of any real estate investing is education. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, you know, again, when you've had a, a prominent paradigm that's exa- existed for decades of the old way of doing IRAs, People just simply aren't going to know there is a better way. In my opinion, this is it's entirely better. Uh, your flexibility is extraordinary, what you can do with it. What are the limitations? I think there's, what, three three limitations? No, there's really only two limitations. Two, two limitations. Which is uh, life insurance and collectibles, which I don't think that affects us. But if you can take title to it, you can probably own it in an IRA. Um, and, you know, real estate is often a long-term investment, and your retirement uh, is the same way. So it's a great way to build wealth over time. And you can do that tax free, which is amazing. Yeah, I love that, Brian. We got about a minute or so left. Why don't you kind of wrap it up uh, with a final question or thought? Well, one of the things I'm curious about for myself is if you own property already, can you put it in the IRA, or it has to be purchased originally? Has to be purchased originally. You can't buy, sell, or trade between yourself and your IRA. Your IRA has to go out and buy it. It's for the purposes of the IRA always. Uh, they're trying to keep you from getting a benefit directly right now. You have to your benefits when you retire and take that money. So yeah. it's really important to get educated on this. You know, if you're a seasoned investor or if you're just starting out, it's a really important thing to get educated on. Yeah. Absolutely, and I appreciate both of you doing that uh, with every time you do a segment with you as you're here on the show. And then uh, Nathan, again, always good to see you. I wish you could see more of you. Nathan Long, he's with QuestIRA.com. Tell your brother I said howdy. I will do, Kevin. And then uh, BigStateHomeBuyers.com. While while there, make sure you check out uh, the investor section. That's my play page. I go right. there at least once or twice a week, play around and figure out what's going on. And I'm talking to, I tell you, there's so many people out there doing real estate investing, and I'm always talking up what you guys are doing and uh, always look forward to uh, your next program, your next podcast, your next big thing. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate all your great work. I'm Kevin Price. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While they're like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter.